How's it going guys? Peep is Cotton Eye Joe here. And we're hitting sub goals a little too quickly. I'm gonna be fully honest with you. Oh my god, I have to actually leave to get a Red Bull now. Okay, hold up, be right back. I'm back. You know, honestly, I would complain that you guys keep making me leave the house, but it's been so nice the past couple days. I'm not even gonna complain. All right, here we go. Look at that. We got a Red Bull. Here we have like the, <laughs> that's like the average Red Bull enjoyer. I'm not even gonna lie. Can you focus back on me, please? How do I focus on me? There we go. All right, we're good now. Ignore the massive lens flare. How do I get rid of that? All right, moment of truth. Will I get a heart attack? Let's find out. Yeah, that's not good. I don't like that. I was honestly expecting to become Peter Griffin. I'm gonna be fully honest with you. This, this is kind of mid, bro. I'm not gonna lie. All right, if we hit 24,000 subscribers by the end of this week, I will drink. I'll drip. I'll drink whatever the top comment wants me to drink. I don't know. Whatever I can legally consume. Bam. I'll, I'll give you my genuine reaction on that. Stay tuned. Today, guys. I hate to admit it, but I'm accepting defeat. This is a very rare outcome. I admit it. I lost. Usually when I make a video about a content creator, they usually make a very disappointing response. Like, I'll never forget Willius, bro. All he did was prove my points even more. So if you guys need a quick recap, here's what happened. I basically made a video talking about how Willius is just not a good Valorant YouTuber. All he ever talks about is how he's a Sigma and how he just brags about how he goes to a school like Harvard. And in his response video, all he did was talk about how we're probably jealous that he goes to Harvard. And th that's literally the entire response. It, that's literally it. Recently, some creators have been criticizing me for making Harvard my entire personality. And I'm sorry. For absolutely f***ing nothing. Do I include Harvard into most of my videos? Of course. And you know why? Because that's what makes me unique from all the other Valent creators. And before you call me an egotistic or narcissistic person, if you had an advantage that millions of people dreamed of, you would flex it too. But then there's Elevens, who actually turned his life around after my video. Now, don't take my word for it, but I genuinely do not remember if he watched my video or not. I think it was either one of his mods or like one of his channel supporters, which by the way, shout out to my channel supporters. Here we go. Here's your shout out. I think they actually came out saying something like how Elevens is very aware that his channel is dead. And I think at some point they said that he watched my video. I don't remember though, so don't take my word for it. But to be fair, it's kind of inevitable because if you look up Elevens, my video is one of the first videos to pop up. See, now I actually feel bad. That being said, let's talk about this video that I made. And it's about, well, Elevens. Now, if you're not aware, which I'm pretty sure you are aware of, this guy right here blew up on Valorant because how he eerily resembles Tens. So that sort of became his entire personality. Oh, I'm the dollar store Tens. He even bought a Sentinels jersey just to be part of the bit. And that was the entire channel. It was funny, I will admit. Pretending to be a pro player is just funny. Like, this is literally the bottom G of Valorant, y'all yeah, like bottom G. I think bottom G actually has to be like the stupidest bit ever. But that's literally what Elevens does. He's literally just the bottom G of Valorant. But there was an issue with Elevens. No, 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 it wasn't that Tens hated it. In fact, Tens loved the bit. In fact, they actually collabed for many videos, which shout out to Tens. He actually thought the joke was funny. At least he didn't pull an average Jonas and he just cannot take a joke whatsoever. No, 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 the problem was that that was it. That was the whole bit. Unfortunately, this bit got stale very quickly. It was to the point where the views that Elevens was used to was basically impossible. Over time, he struggled to even hit 10,000 views. He resorted to basically doing the same bit on TikTok and YouTube shorts over and over again, which I will admit did do a little bit for him, but he was making basically little to nothing from these videos. I, I will admit though, Elevens, he was pretty funny. Like, like, look at this. These are Valorant's top five phantom skins. Let me cook. Fifth place goes to Protocol. The gun literally talks to you. It's just like having your own friend. Not that I have any. The bullet sounds are like lasers and the pink variant is giving... It's giving... What the hell am I saying? Fourth place goes to Spectrum. This skin could have probably deserved rank number one, but you'll see why the next few skins are slightly better. My favorite thing about the Spectrum Phantom is... Third place goes to Oni. This used to be the best Phantom skin in the game. And there's currently a hilarious bug where you can get aim assist if you equip this skin with the Riot Gun Buddy and use a PlayStation controller. I've been able to rank up from Bronze 2 to Platinum 3 over the past 24 hours just by using this method. Second place goes to Recon. This is probably a surprise for most of you. A lot of you think this skin is the best in the game. However, you've probably forgotten about the next skin I'm about to reveal. The Recon Phantom is pretty good for spray control because it has a 30% reduced bullet spread. But the only bad thing is that it doesn't have a finisher. This is why first place goes to Neptune. 
soon. All right, you know, I hate to admit it. This is a rare, funny Valorant creator. I know, I know. It's like finding a needle in the haystack. It's like trying to find gold. But yeah, Elevens was funny. Which is kind of sad to watch his channel die so quickly. But ladies and gentlemen, today's the day I accept defeat. Like I said in the intro. So like I said earlier, people that came from Eleven's channel directly told me that, you know, he's aware that his content is dying and he's trying to make things work. As funny as this dude was, unfortunately, he was a one trick pony, which is exactly why he started a second channel, Eleven's. Now, honestly, I wasn't even aware of this until a good friend of mine brought it up. Eleven started up a new channel and is effing killing it. Could do a follow-up video on your OG Eleven's video talking about his redemption arc. You know what? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. This is Eleven's redemption arc. Let's check this out. I didn't even watch this video. I literally just wanted a thumbnail. That's why it says I watched it. <laughs> yes, I work on thumbnails before the video. Leave me alone. All right, which one looks the most interesting? Dude, like, look at these views. These are actually insane. He even pulled a million views in this video. That's actually insane. Dude, the Eleven's redemption arc is crazy. Jesus Christ. Shout out to Eleven's. He's pulling views. I wish I could get these views. Strange items banned at school. This, this sounds interesting. Dude, I don't know about you guys, but my YouTube has been so slow all day, and I don't even know why. YouTube, you gotta lock in, dog. It's not even slow internet, it's just YouTube specifically. T-ball was banned for a long time because a kid hit the ball and threw the bat to the side so he could run the bases. It hit a pregnant teacher in the stomach, and she had a miscarriage that were banned from schools. In fifth grade, my school banned Smarties because kids would crush all the pieces into powder and smoke them. What? Who sees a perfectly fine packet of Smarties and decides to do this? Okay, am I insane? Because I used to do this. I actually used to do this. Maybe- I don't even- <laughs> I can't be the only one that did this as a kid. Smoking Smarties was so fun. Maybe it's just a Chicago thing, I don't know. Maybe in Chicago this stuff is normalized, smoking Smarties as a kid. Aerosol cans, because we would put them in the toilet, set them on fire, and blow the toilet up. That's just fucking stupid. They should have banned the toilets instead. I read this, and then I immediately thought of this one image that is just being ingrained into my head forever. It's literally- <laughs> God damn it. Dude, okay. What? I like this. Elevens is no longer a one-trick pony. He actually made a second channel that's just full of him being him. Literally just full of personality, and I love this. And I'm just saying, bro, it's not a coincidence that he quit Valorant too, dog. There is a drought when it comes to Valorant content. Like, it's impossible to be a Valorant creator nowadays. Like, Eggwick is still missing in action. Like, nobody knows what happened to him. He's just gone. Like, he abandoned his Discord server. He abandoned his channel. He's- he's done. Like, same thing with like literally every Valorant creator whose main content isn't just playing the game or being a shill for Valorant skins. I honestly like this new arc for Eleven, so I and I honestly want to give him props. At the same time, I'm also accepting defeat. Rare peep is awesome, L. And shout out to Eleven's honestly. If you want to go watch Eleven's, do it, man. This this content's actually enjoyable. I realistically see myself watching modern day Eleven's. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. See y'all in the next video. Okay, see ya. Boom!